Hi, this is Jen Francis. We're going to go over some math examples today. The first subject we're going to try is percent of calories from carbohydrate, protein, and fat in a food. And here would be a sample of the type of problem you would see. A food contains 10 grams of carbohydrate, 5 grams of protein, and 2 grams of fat. And the question might ask you to determine the total calories and the percent of calories from each nutrient. The first sort of background knowledge that you need to do this type of problem is to remember that carbohydrates have 4 calories per gram, protein has 4 calories per gram, and fat has 9 calories per gram. So the first thing that you'd want to do is multiply each of those nutrients times the calories per gram. So in our example we had 10 grams of carbohydrate and we know that each gram has 4 calories, so 10 grams times 4 calories equals 40 calories from carbohydrate. Protein, in our example we had 5 grams of protein. We know that there are 4 calories per gram of protein, so 5 grams times 4 calories equals 20 calories. Same for fat, 2 grams of fat times 9 calories per gram for 18 calories. Now these are all the calories from the different nutrients, you add them up to get the total calories. So 40 plus 20 plus 18 equals 78 total calories. The last step is to get the percent of calories from carbohydrate. Let's go back and look at the first, the first step. We were just figuring out the total number of calories from each of those nutrients. But what this number doesn't show us is what portion of the total calories comes from that nutrient. Um, that's what the next step is, per determining the percent of calories from that nutrient. So if 40 out of the 78 total calories come from carbohydrate, that's equal to about 51% of the calories are coming from carbohydrate. So you would do 40 divided by 78. That equals, in your calculator, you'll see 0.51. You can multiply times 100, or in your head, you could just say that equals 51%. I lost my cursor. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let's see if, ah, there it is. In your head, you can say that equals 51%. Okay, same for the protein. You would take the calories from protein, compare it to the total number of, of calories. So 20 out of 78 equals about 0.26 or 26 percent of the calories come from fat. So 20 divided by 78. And lastly for the fat, same thing. 18 calories came from fat out of the total. So 18 divided by 78 is about 23 percent of the calories from fat. Notice that they all add up to 100 because all of the calories in a food come from carbohydrate, fat, or protein. If, if there's some alcohol in there, there would be something for that as well. But that's a way you can double check your work, is to make sure that all of your percentages add up to 100%. The thing to bear in mind here is what you're doing is trying to look at a food and say, do most of the calories from this food come from carbohydrate and protein? Do most of the calories in this food come from fat? This is a way to determine that. And I think that's it for this type of problem. 